Okay guys, so I'm starting to do work on the frag system. Basically got the sump in place. Uh, gonna go ahead and just put it right here. I'm gonna have some openings here. I'm gonna put the dosing containers right here. I might actually connect the dosing pumps right here, which is just the bubble magus. But I might get some smart dosing pumps, like maybe the um, uh, the Ecotex or, you know, um, some other ones and stuff. But uh, definitely maybe looking at the Red Sea or whatever. So I can dose some trace elements maybe like once a, once a week or, or something. And just depending on, you know, what I get back when I do the testing and everything for this uh, frag system. But uh, got the barb feeding here. Got the bulkhead in place. Uh, I'm going to do something where I can actually put another barb fitting here because I want to... I want some hosing here. The thing is, you know, I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I don't really like piping and PVC and all that and hard plumbing because um, if something was to shake, I'd rather this move like a little bit like this or something or move a little bit out of place rather than something snapping and all the water gushing out or whatever. So if I have a little bit of flexibility for me being in an earthquake prone state, um in an area you know where the san andreas fault literally runs right through us um the, it's for me i i love doing the the um the uh plastic tubing or vinyl tubing so um that's what i like to do and that if you notice in all my other systems they're all like that except for the red sea which uh does give some flexibility because it's not actually attached or hard plumbed to the actual sump it's actually if you notice it's actually lined out but on my Red Sea, I do have um, uh, vinyl tubing going up to uh, the return. So, you know, it gives a little bit of flexibility right there. But that's how I feel. That's just what I do. And um, obviously, it's just the way I do my things around here. If I live somewhere else, I'm a little less earthquake prone and stuff like that. Then maybe I might go with the hard plumbing. But that's where I'm at. Anyways, dosing pumps here. Maybe get a smart doser like a Red Sea unit. Maybe connect it here. But uh, I'm gonna have all the rest of the equipment here. Plan to put the RO unit more on this end, have a little bit of area here for drawers or something like that, or something where I can put my fragging tools. And um, gonna have the mini, the GHL mini, is gonna be monitoring the pH and the temperature. And I don't know about controlling really anything. Um, I'm just gonna just be monitoring basically everything myself. Right now I'm getting the Kessel AP900 set up. I got the extension kit. You can see here, because if we go back here, what I'm gonna do is, so I cut a piece here to give it more of a little bit of an opening because I needed this much space. See how it barely fit right here? So I needed that half an inch. And because of this, having the beautiful painted side, I'm just simply gonna just, you know, screw that on like so. And I'm going to mount, which I already had purchased from my previous Kessel mount, this extension kit. So this extension kit actually came in handy right now. It's going to be extended. It's going to connect right there, mounted there. And the extension kit gives me the length that I need to hang it over the, the frag system. So it's going to be like that. So just giving a little idea. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to be working on that right now. And then when we come back, you'll see things uh, a little bit more mounted up and done. And just like I said before, I'm going to put live rock in there. So I'm going to put a little bit of live rock right here on this side, which is perfect because I'm going to put the protein skimmer here. I'm going to put a little bit of some nice, good live rock that I have actually, uh, which been sitting in my bedroom tank in here. I'm going to put a little carbon bag here if needed, just to kind of just, you know, filter out any impurities or whatever. Uh, return pump here. Uh, the New Yoys uh, protein skimmer is going to be here, which I got there small boy. So that's going to be here to, you know, take out any nutrients or any excess of whatever. And other than that, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. Filter sock. Ah, I don't know if I'm going to keep that filter sock. I think I'm going to take it out. I think it's got a mesh filter sock in there. Maybe I might leave it in there and just let it grow some stuff in there where it actually can help with nitrates production, a little bit of phosphate because we don't want zero and zero of anything. But I might leave that in there for a little while, but I'm actually thinking of eliminating that. I really don't like filter socks, but uh, I'll make that decision later on. All right, guys. So I will be back in a little bit, and we'll have some things. Okay, guys, so we're back. So you can see I already got the Kessel extension mount here. You can see I mounted it onto this board. It was the piece that I said I was going to screw in. I pre-drilled the holes there and there. 
there and there, got it all in. Um, mounted the mounting bracket on here, screwed everything up. And you can see it's all nice and solid, doesn't move at all. And um, come over here, we got the backboard piece right here and you see how it's nice and white. So it looks like everything was just meant to be in place. So I'll get the AP9 on there and that's about it. All right, guys. All right, guys, so um, I've been doing the plumbing, basically the PVC cutting. Um, I mean, if you wanna come over here, you can see this is gonna be the return. You can see there's the barb fitting, still got the tag on there. I'm gonna clean that up. Nothing's actually mounted. Basically got the PVC piping, cut everything into place, got it mounted into the bulkhead here. And the barb fitting here, basically this is, this is what's gonna go into the return, which is um, gonna be the, what is it? The Vectra, the Vectra S2. So that's actually gonna be what's gonna be returning the water um, down here. If you look into here, Arlene, uh, I connected the bulkhead and there's some adaption right there for this PVC pipe, which is basically gonna go right into there, to there like so. I got this muffler right here, which is gonna go up on top. It's a silencer, which is gonna silence the noise. So anything that trickles over through the overflow box is actually gonna trickle into the piping down into the sump and we won't hear any of that gurgling sound. So that's gonna take care of that. Um, if we come over here, you can see down here, I already got the barb fitting underneath here. You can see there's the mount right there. That's the barb fitting that's gonna go into here. And I got this right here, which is gonna go into like so. We're gonna get the tubing, connect it like that. And there it is and that's it. We're gonna have water circulating, hopefully by within a little while, within a couple days time, I'll have this going. So obviously this is all gonna be on one video, but you know, I'm just showing you parts in, in the process of what I'm doing here. So other than that, I'm gonna start cementing some PVC and getting that going. Uh, just remember, always have your cement ready, always have your PVC cutting tool ready. These things come in handy. It makes life so much easier to be able to do things like this when you're on the move and you're, and you're needing to just uh, do things quickly. Because you never know when you're actually going to need these for something else, for some occurrence or whatsoever. So just be ready, have your tools ready, and that's it. We'll get this all set up, and we'll be back in a little bit.